Big game animals of the Rocky Mountains are fascinating wild animals. Living in one of the most beautiful areas of the United States and large enough to be seen with the naked eye, they are viewed by many people throughout our national parks and expansive Rocky Mountain area. Many of these animals live in near pristine areas untouched by the efforts of mankind. Others, more adapted to civilization, live in closer harmony to man and do quite well. Whether it be the mountain goat living on his rocky pinnacle, the pronghorn on his spacious prairie, or man in his cities, the Rocky Mountains are a beautiful area to live. mountain areas. Their heavy coats and specially adapted hooves make them quite well suited for this extreme environment. While not a true goat, but a distant cousin of the old world antelope, they live in parts of Montana, Idaho, Washington State, and north into the Canadian Rockies. These graceful, powerful, sure-footed animals can scale their rocky domain with the ease of you and I walking down the sidewalk but stumble a lot less. The bighorn sheep, one of the most prized of all North American game animals. An adult ram may weigh up to 280 pounds, but the set of horns weighing up to 30 pounds, as heavy as all the other bones in his body. During the mating season, the rams raise up on their hind legs, dropping down on all fours, slamming their heads together in a show of dominance. The growth rings in the horns tell us how old an animal is. This ram is six years old. Fourteen is considered old. The bighorn sheep shares his high mountain home with the mountain goat. And because of their sure-footedness, keen eyesight, and the intense terrain in which they live, they have only one real enemy, the ultimate predator, man. Moose are the largest game animal in North America and the largest of the deer family in the world. An adult bull may weigh up to 1,800 pounds with a set of antlers that weighs 70 pounds and stretch over 60 inches. The cow moose with her calf may not be the prettiest pair in the pond, but they will be the most respected. Old timers claim that a cow moose with a calf is more aggressive than a sow bear with cubs. The bull elk is possibly the most impressive and majestic of all big game animals. During the mating season, when the bulls are bugling with their antlers polished and sharpened, ready to take on all comers for the right to be a herd bull, it is truly an impressive sight. The herd bull is the largest and strongest bull in the area that has won the most fights for the right to gather, control, and mate with a herd of cows. They are continually chasing all the smaller bulls away. The shrill, three-pitch sound of an elk bugle is one of the most exciting sounds in nature. With a camera in hand, the elk is a beautiful and majestic animal. But with a big game rifle in hand, the elk turns into a mythological creature 
phantoms of the forest that are talked about in camp but rarely seen while hunting. Now, that may not be totally true, but the elk can and does present a challenging and rewarding hunt. Mule deer, or muleys, are named for their large mule-like ears. They are common throughout the western states and live among the sagebrush prairies and scattered timber. Muleys are large-bodied and large-antlered deer, and a horn span of over 25 inches is not uncommon. They are wily animals and cause many hunters to scratch their heads in bewilderment. Notice the much smaller ears on this white-tailed doe. The white tail is named for the large white tail they flip up and wave like a flag when running or spooked. This is a grocery box buck. You could put a box of groceries right between those horns and have him carry them home for you, if you could put salt on his tail. This black bear's round head, small body, and straight back distinguish him, or is it a her, from the grizzly. The black bear's name is confusing because it comes in several colors, black, brown, a reddish color called cinnamon bears, and even blonde. <whistles> Notice the definite hump behind this grizzly's shoulders. Its dished in face, larger body help distinguish it from a black bear. Grizzlies of the Rocky Mountain area are dark brown with white tip guard hairs, sometimes inspiring the nickname Silver Tip. Wolves travel in packs of up to 25 animals. A highly intelligent and very social animal, wolves have a definite social order and are dependent on each other for survival. Once on the endangered species list, Wolves have recently made a return to Montana's Glacier National Park in the surrounding area. The campfire stories of the lone wolf are mostly just that, campfire stories. Wolves are not villains or creatures of predatory evil, and they have never been known to kill a man in North American history. Wolves usually kill only the sick or weakened animals, which helps control overgrazing and sustains a stronger deer and elk herd. The pronghorn is often mistakenly called an antelope, a last remaining survivor of a group of bizarre spiral horned animals that lived in North America many, many years ago. Easily the fastest animal in North America the pronghorn can reach speeds of 50 miles per hour for short bursts and cruise at 25 to 30 miles per hour for some time. They live in the wide open spaces of the western plains. An area of very little cover, the pronghorn depends on its speed and keen eyesight to avoid its enemies. Pronghorn do not like to jump a fence. When pursued by hunters, they will run parallel to a fence for great distances until they find a way to crawl under it. They will sometimes charge a fence in an attempt to break through it, and only in the most extreme circumstances will they jump it. Both the male and the female have horns, with the males becoming much larger by maturity. Horns of 17 inches are considered quite large.
The bison, misnamed buffalo by early American settlers, once numbered in the millions and inhabited most of North America's continent. Today, they number about 50,000 and are found on private ranches, government preserves, and national parks. An adult bull may stand six feet at the shoulders and weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Bison calves are born in early May and show few traits of their somber appearing adult parents as they spend most of their first summer running, jumping, and clowning around. This wet black nose nearly touched the lens of the camera and its mother almost trampled the photographer. Never approach a bison or any wildlife too closely because they can be dangerous. These beautiful Rocky Mountains that many of us call home and many more of us enjoy on vacation or through photography are not above or beyond some of the devastating effects of man. The constant encroachment of man and civilization on these natural habitats can leave an unrepairable damage. Hopefully, we will be able to understand this and make efforts to preserve this beautiful area in its natural state.